Is a supply chain management major or a supply chain management degree worth it? That's what we're going to be talking about today, and we are going to jump right into it. First of all, what is supply chain management? So supply chain management is all about creating efficient processes within a company to get the product of the company or the service to the end user. You'll be learning how to create, procure, and plan the movement of goods, supplies, and services. This is a skill that's very important in just about every industry out there, and it's becoming more and more important as time goes on. This degree has some overlap with operations research, statistics, as well as industrial engineering. There's around 5,500 people graduating with a bachelor's every year with this degree, and a few career paths you might go down as becoming a logistician, cost estimator, or a purchasing manager. Now, as always, we're gonna go over four important sections and the first one is going to be salary or earning potential. So with this degree you would expect to make around 59,000 a year starting out and 95,000 in mid-career pay. You can compare this to a low paying and a high paying degree and you'll see that it's in the middle but it's probably above average. Now supply chain management is a business degree and on average business majors are going to earn around 2.6 million dollars over a lifetime. There's a huge variance there though. There's some business majors that are really good and then there's some that are you know not that great but with that being said the average of all majors and all different careers is going to be 2.4 million so it is above average now one career path you might go into is becoming a logistician and they make around $74,000 a year and $35 an hour you could also become a cost estimator and they make around $65,000 and $31 an hour or you could become a purchasing manager and they make $69,000 and around $33 an hour also have some other career paths you might end up going down that are somewhat related to this one and I'll have them pop up on the screen right now. As you can see most of these career paths are going to be able to get you up to a pretty good salary and of course some are going to be better than others depending on what you want to do and what your personal financial goals are. So with this one I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to salary. Next we're going to be talking about satisfaction and this one is extremely subjective so take this with a grain of salt but there are some things that you can look at that will give you a good idea of whether you're going to be happy with your job or not. Two really important things in my opinion are going to be meaning as well as job satisfaction. So when it comes to meaning, supply chain management has a relatively low score of about 41% and you can compare that to a really high one and one that's not that great and you'll see that it is on the lower side. So meaning is basically how much you think your career positively impacts the world and so people who are optimizing processes within a business don't necessarily necessarily see how their career is significantly positively impacting the world which kind of makes sense if you become a logistician it's a little bit better at around 48 percent still a little below average however the job satisfaction is not bad it's about 70 percent and again you can compare that to a really good one and a really bad one and you'll see that the job satisfaction is above average now generally speaking when you look at the types of degrees that tend to be regretted business degrees are the second least regretted type of degree so that's good news they are only regretted around 15% of the time and the main reason is because they're too general that's not such a big issue with supply chain management because it does teach you a pretty specific skill set it's not something that is just like communication or business or business administration or management something like that it does actually teach you a relatively specific skill set that a lot of businesses out there need. And so I don't think it has as much of an issue as some of the other business degrees when it comes to being too general. I will say here that when it comes to satisfaction, there's so many different factors. It could be, you know, your coworkers. It could be the company you work for, the industry you work in, what your career path is looking like, how much opportunity there is at your particular job, the location of your job. There's all kinds of things that would contribute to satisfaction that are going to be just person to person it's almost like what's your favorite ice cream well everyone's favorite ice cream is going to be different so with that being said uh, take it with a grain of salt for one person it might be 1 out of 10 for another it could be 10 out of 10 but I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 next we're gonna be talking about demand and we're gonna go back to some of the careers we talked about before so for instance logisticians there's 188,000 jobs available right now which is good it's growing at 4% which is around average meaning over the next 10 years 8,200 jobs are going to pop up. That's not bad. Now, when it comes to unemployment, the numbers are super wacky right now, and we don't have any accurate data out there when it comes to 
you know, what jobs people have and you know, what degrees they graduated with. Hopefully here in a couple of years, we will have that data. But if you look back to the crash of 2008 and a couple of years after that, you can see that unemployment went up a lot. And you did see that business related degrees tended to have relatively high unemployment rates in 2010. So you see here it's 6.5%. It's one of the highest on the list. However, when the economy is really good, they have one of the lowest unemployment rates at 2.4%. So business degrees can be very hit or miss, and it depends on a lot of different factors about what the unemployment rate is going to be and how easily you can get fired and how future proof your degree is, etc. However, I will say this, when I did a search on monster.com for supply chain degree jobs, 130,000 job listings had that keyword in it, which is very, very good. You can compare that to one that has extremely high demand like computer science and one that doesn't have very much demand at all like anthropology, and you will see that it's on the high side of things. Another great thing about business related degrees is they tend to be pretty flexible. So you might get a supply chain management degree because you wanna be a logistician. And then later on, you decide that you wanna go down more of a management role or try to become an executive of a company or something along those lines. Well, it's not that hard for you to change career paths just because of how flexible these degrees tend to be. That can be a bit of a double-sided coin in some cases because when something's really flexible, it also tends to be relatively general. But in this particular case, the skills you learn are relatively specific. But that still wouldn't stop you from going for quite a few different types of jobs, managerial roles, and moving up the hierarchy of a company. So overall with this one, I'm gonna have to give it an 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to demand. This is a pretty good one, and I think it's underrated for business degrees. You don't really hear a lot of people talking about this one. Next, we're gonna be talking about X factors, and this is anything that is important that I didn't mention before. Now, I did mention that business related degrees tend to earn more than your average degree when it comes to earnings over a lifetime, and they're pretty good all throughout. So they combine pretty well with a lot of other types of degrees. It's relatively synergistic. Business degrees make really good double majors, for instance. So let's say you're getting a degree where it's not necessarily gonna pay off very easily. You might have some trouble getting a job. If you tack on a business major uh, with that, and you know, double major, maybe even minor, that would be okay as well. It would make you a lot more marketable. You can see that they do pretty well all across the board, no matter what career path they end up going down. Now, when you look at the ZipRecruiter Skills Index, you see that supply chain management is ranked 77 out of 100 when it comes to how valuable the skill is. So just to compare that, you can see a really good one and a really bad one. It's definitely on the higher side. That basically means that a lot of companies are looking for people who have that skill set. When it comes to likelihood of automation, it's very low as well and business careers in general even if that specific career was automated you can pretty easily pivot into something else because of the fact that you learn a lot of soft skills like communication sales skills a lot of the time marketing etc that you can take into other careers and they'll be extremely valuable one thing i will say about business related degrees is they're going to be kind of as hard as you make them so for instance i went to college i had a lot of friends who were business majors and i can tell you that they had a lot of fun while they were in college they did a lot of partying, they had a lot of fun, their classes were not all that hard. Now, of course, you can make your classes as hard as you want to. So if you wanna work really hard and learn a lot, you know, your classes can be really difficult. But when it comes to just objectively speaking, how difficult generally the classes are, business degrees usually aren't the worst. Again, that could change depending on what school you go to and a bunch of other factors, but you know, I'm trying to be nice here. Uh, businesses are not known for being very difficult. And one thing I wanted to touch on just a little bit more is the whole flexibility thing. Flexibility is maybe one of the most underrated things that I don't talk about enough on this channel because I recommend that you have a good plan, but let's be honest, the best laid plans, right? That old saying, a lot of the time your plans are gonna fall through and it's nice to have a flexible degree so that because of the fact that, hey, your plans fell through, you can still pursue all kinds of different avenues. Or let's say your plans don't fall through. You achieve your dream career and you find out that, hey, I don't really like like it or you want to change careers you get bored with it something along those lines it's also nice to have a flexible degree because you can just have the freedom to change into a different career another thing I like to mention is if you're interested in entrepreneurship at all business related degrees do tend to lead to you starting your own business later on so a lot of the time you'll get the degree you'll get a few years of experience you'll learn valuable skills and then once you're really uh, immersed in your market immersed in your industry you're going to have the vision to see where there are problems where 
where you can solve those problems in the form of a product or a service. So not only can you do a ton of different careers in almost any industry and any business, but it's also really flexible when it comes to starting your own business. So overall, I'm gonna give this one a score of 8.5 out of 10 when it comes to X factors. The overall score here is going to be 8.25 out of 10 when you add all four up and then divide them by four. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, check out my college degree ranker down in the description below and my Patreon if you don't wanna wait for whatever video you're waiting for and you just wanna see what degrees are ranked where. In my opinion, I think it's the best college degree resource out there, so definitely check that out. And if you haven't done it already, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. Also, sharing the video really helps. And uh, before you leave, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you. Bye.